so <coughs> we're gonna be playing some uh, haunted castle today because uh, some um, of our other people couldn't make it due to uh, probably just too tired at this point. Uh, which I get. Yeah, I've had a long week. It's been a very long week. But um. Dracula's Castle. Are there two versions in, in, in this game, or what's happening? Because so there's the there's the original arcade release, uh, and then there is the remade version that was made just for this uh, collection. Oh, we played the remade version. Yes, because that version I can actually beat. <laughs> Great. Um, Otherwise, we I, I wouldn't be playing that right now. <laughs> I, I am curious, I will have to like get to play one of the other ones eventually to see what the how they did the <laughs> DS controls. Oh, because... So I did find out in the I... review <clears throat> that uh, for Dawn of Sorrow, you know how you have to draw to make the sigil? Uh -huh. All the spots have been like replaced with face buttons. Oh, love that. Okay. Or if you're playing um, on PC, uh, you use the mouse. I wonder if they could have gotten a, like, like Joy-Con and they would have just done the Switch. Maybe. Um, I don't know. That sounds better than what Square Enix did with Truy. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, there are still a lot of DS and 3DS games that I believe need to be ported in some way. And they're finding ways to, to get past the use for a stylus. Yeah. Um, which is my um, oh. vampire killer uh, is uh, my um, my plea to the man himself, uh, Sakurai. Uh, please remake Kid Icarus Uprising so I can play it. And have the rails be fucking visible. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is with 3DS emulation. The rails in that game are never visible, and I've tried multiple things. I think it's just a graphical glitch that's yeah. with the uh, with that particular. Yeah, it was super good. Um, but yeah, please re-release that game. It you could just make it a twin stick shooter like. I don't think it would be that hard to do. And that game has an amazing soundtrack that everyone should hear. Yes. Just like Portrait of Ruin. That, that game has one of my favorite soundtracks ever made. Portrait of Ruin is great. Uh, do you play as a woman in Order of the Skelly? Because I did not. Yes. That you play as Shinoa. Ah, and he plays what? What's his name? Stoma Cruz and Donna Saro? Yep. Donna Saro is the sequel to Aria Yes, yeah. We did play Aria Saro on the channel. Yes, we um, did. But we are playing Haunted Castle, which was, what would you say, I believe a arcade only game for the longest time? Yes. Yeah, I'm a, like, Castlevania admirer from the fall. I have played a couple of them. I've beaten uh, Fortune Ruin. Um, I even killed Simon. Not killed Simon. I... No, it was Richter. It was Richter. I beat Richter. Yeah. And fuck him. <laughs> that was a stupid boss fight. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But, uh, do you know what his secret weakness is? Pies. Is he... There is what? a there is a sub weapon that is literally you just throw pies at the enemy, and apparently <clears throat> it does psychological damage to him. At which point, if you mash the fuck out of those pies, he will die almost instantly. It just, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be the first time I've killed a boss with a pie in a video game. 
I played fucking Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chicks. Oh no. That that video game was terrible. But I beat it. And I have to tell you, uh, beating that game was uh was very good at like um um prepping me for Dark Souls combat. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Because, uh, that, the final boss against the Phantom is, like, actually super hard. <laughs> right. It took me several tries to skip. Anyway. So, I just, uh, went ahead and did everything. Probably gonna give it a couple of minutes, and then we'll start. Uh, okay, can we go to the portion of the soundtrack? Sure. Uh, oh. Theme of Simon Belmont. Uh, no, what was the song? Go on. Uh, it's probably near the beginning, probably. I'm trying to remember the name of the song. Gears go arise if you can find Tori and Fear. Uh, okay, go down now. Now, probably. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, there it is. Health in the past. Same oh. Song. Probably give it till the end of the song and then we'll start. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I I was telling you before stream that uh, I I listened to a remix version of this that they released. I forgot what it was an official like remix soundtrack though. It was Okay. I can't remember the name of it. You know what the funny thing is? I actually just beat Haunted Castle this morning before I went to work. Oh, uh, I believe it was Castlevania the 20th anniversary. also figured out a way to so in Portrait of Ruin in the Order of Ecclesia there are side characters that you can play as once you beat the game that require uh -huh. use of the touchscreen and I... they they fixed it you don't need the touchscreen gimmicks to play them anymore I didn't know that because I didn't went further than beating that game because I know you can play as like the evil sisters in Portrait of Ruin and you can play as uh, Richter Belmont in Maria Renard. of a new game should have soundtrack. Sh should. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, Medusa, what happened to your everything? <laughs> so, it, it, does this game star Mr. Simon? Yes. Mr. Belmont? Okay, why is he wearing a turban? He's not. That's his hair. That's his hair? Yeah. <laughs> why is his hair blue? <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. See, I'm only used to Simon, um, from Smash, you know, the grandma-looking motherfucker. Yeah. Um, well, he looks like that in the main menu. Yeah. Well, okay. Here we go, Haunted Castle. Oh, shit. So what exactly did they do to revisit this game? <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to have to show you some videos after this. Why? Everything is different, even the graphics. I mean, I know the graphics are probably. And also, this game has lives instead of you just having one health bar throughout the entire game. What? 
Yeah, it's completely balanced to be a console game instead of it being an arcade game. Oh, so if you like lost your health, you would have to import uh, like uh, coins and stuff, I imagine. Oh, uh, there's no continues. You just die, you put in more coins, and you start from the very beginning of the game. Ew. What? What? Arcade. You know what? I think Konami was just bad from the beginning. <laughs> Stage one. Does it only have four stages? No. It has oh. six. Oh. Oh. Those are just all the different things you can choose from. We're going to start from the very beginning, though. Okay. Because I have never played this or seen it or heard of it. Da, 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 it's a shotgun wedding. <laughs> Holy shit. I, hey, it's the curb on the groom, the groomsman. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is stupid. <laughs> I was going to marry for the love of my life and Dracula stole away. Yep, that's it. <laughs> this game is stupid. <laughs> Fortune. Or as the Tekken 3 men would say, chicken. <laughs> I, I watched the the donkey video on Tekken 3 he released today was really funny. Oh god. Uh half it was him remixing the music with the chicken sound effect. <laughs> chicken. Also, did you know that both Kuma and King in that game were the second versions of them? Yes. Like both like I didn't know that. I thought this game we know now has been like the original game. No, the original and King that. died to Ogre. Also, Kuma. Apparently, I didn't know that either. Kuma, I think, just died of old age. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah you will have to show me what this game looked like in the original. Oh, Cause... I will. Because there ain't no way an arcade... Okay, yeah. Ar when was this re released? The original release, I believe, was like uh, after Castlevania 2 came out on the NES. Oh, so like 80 something, yeah. Probably, or like early 90s. Oh, I remembered a game that they were talking about in that video I was talking about. Oh. Um. Dragon Slayer. Yes. But I now now I know how that game worked. <laughs> yep. Because I I did not know how that game worked back in the day. It's basically it, a an interactive movie. It's basically a very long quick time event. <laughs> that too. Um I can tell you right now, the arcade version did not have choir in the background. No. Oh, is this the boss? Yep, it's Medusa. Hello, Medusa. You look lovely today. I'm glad she's not one of those bosses where you have to just hit her in the face. Yeah. That is Dracula. Yeah. Oh, did he win? Oh, oh, look how the tables have turned. <laughs> now you're stone, bitch. God, look at that face, though. That is a face that can kill someone. Yep. So we made it through, I don't know, the space fog. Now we're on the the, the the big bridge. The lullaby of the devils. Oh, we're going backwards. I don't like this. Why are we going backwards? Don't worry, we'll be going forwards eventually. Oh, fuck. You don't like it. It's like playing like a fighting game backwards. I don't like it. Just, I just don't like it. 
Yeah, when I first got to this part, I was like, why is it like this? I mean, that's... It's neat that they're breaking conventions already. <laughs> What do those orbs do? Uh, they power up my whip. Oh. So here's the weird thing. In the original Haunted Castle, the level 3 whip actually turns it into a sword. That's weird. Yeah. So it's like you get the you get the leather whip, then you get the morning star, and then you get a sword. Oh, was it like a sword attached to the whip, or was it just a sword? It was just a legit sword. Oh, was it big? It better have been a big. Uh, it was... The witch, man, the witch. It, it was ass. Well, why are we we're fighting river Soras now? Fishman. Uh. How many lives do we have? Two. Oh. We're going to lose. Don't worry, because uh, this, the remaster, is a lot more forgiving than the original game. Uh, okay. I hope you're right. Oh, we got a torch. Oh. Yeah, it's just a kind of shittier version of the uh, holy water. Holy water. Yeah. I know about Castlevania. You know, my favorite Castlevania character, Samus. The <laughs> what the fuck? So it starts you at the beginning of the room. Yeah. Great, love it. In the if this was the arcade game, that would have just been a game over. That's harsh. Yeah. And no floor chicken in sight. How did people beat this game back in the day? You don't. I don't think you did. <laughs> Now, I don't know if this was a practice or not, because I was not alive back then, but like, if if I was a video game, like a terrible video game developer, I would just not make the last levels look that great, because no one would get there. Uh, that sounds about right. Has that happened before? Can you think of something like that? Well, not really. Oh, that's actually the boss that's crawling up that tree. I was wondering what that was. It's the Bone Dragon. Because if you just thought Bone Pillar was enough, no. Bone Dragon. He is. <clears throat> I, I do like that, though. That, like, the, the... I love things back then that were like made of multiple segments. It's such a weird way of designing that he's... But yeah. It happened in multiple games. It's like I can think of like Link to the Past doing that. Right, like with the Moldorm. Yeah. But like I remember watching when the gangers played Sky Plays. <laughs> and they had a dragon in that that was just made of seconds. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I, I just, like, it's a choice that all video game developers made back then, and I have no idea why. Like, was that, like, a limitation that they just had to do? I think it might have been. Yeah. I guess maybe they had to do that to have, like, multiple moving parts, you know? Oh, God. Is that a boomerang? Yep. I almost oh. died, like, multiple times. Yeah, no, I saw that. You were fighting the sand. Oh, the cross. Grand Cross! Yeah, it basically just does Grand Cross. It's... The cross is not a boomerang. The boomerang is the boomerang. And you know... 
you've probably explained to me multiple times, what the fuck do the hearts do in this game, since they're not hearts? Ammo. Oh. Alright, to use your, like, ability. Yep, mostly Got just it. for sub-weapon usage. Good! Ugh. It's like every time I, I'm not playing Castlevania, I just forget the, the hearts do. Yeah. Oh, it's the Bone Dragon! It making the worst sounds I've ever heard. It was funny because when I was younger and played this, I was so confused when uh, I was grabbing hearts and not regaining life. Now, did you ever play this in arcades? Oh, God, no. Uh, mostly because uh, I don't know if this actually released in America. Like, in... in American arcades. I feel like this. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, there you go. I feel like it had to have been like a, if you saw it in an American arcade, it's because somehow the person who ran that arcade probably uh, imported it. That's like a, a kaiju sound or something like that. You know, I am glad that this boss isn't one of those where if you touch any part of his body, you get hit. I actually thought it was. At, uh, like, when I first started playing this. And I was trying so hard to dodge everything. <laughs> it's kind of impossible, actually. But they would do that. The oh, definitely. Who make them, these games are bastards. Well, hey, they gotta make money. Okay, but they do that in every one of them, even ones that are not arcade. Yeah, I can find in a boss that's exactly like that in Portion Room. Like, I, I swear to God. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Yeah, please do. Hey, you cleared stage. We I are did. now in Castle Dracula. What are we fighting? Where's Igor? What is that? Uh, What's that? Stained glass knight. Ooh. Is that bloody tears? Yep. <laughs> oh, look at that picture. It's like, um, um, um. I think that's a mole that, I had. And then that, that woman was like, ah. Oh, my, sorry. <laughs> and then there are pictures of and there is Mr. Alucard. <laughs> yep. I am excited to play through the other games in this collection. I need to, I will buy it eventually. Just, I need to play other things first. I need to beat something. I keep playing games and then not beat them. Welcome to my life. Right. Ooh, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, I actually don't know. I'm waiting for one of these paintings to be alive. Chicken! Chicken. And that girl's like... Mm. <laughs> oh my! Ah, I love castles that are filled with the exact same sketch. Ow. I, I, I say that not making fun of this game because, like, Elden Ring does that too, so... Yeah. It's just like a stylistic choice. Or a, like, I'm trying to save on resources choice. Why did that happen to that? This game hates me. Ah. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, bloody tears! That's a bloody tear. What the fuck is that? That was a harpy. 
Oh! The hard piece in Barbara's game are creepy as fuck. Yeah. They're nowhere as anime as that thing. Why did it sound like a cat when I killed it? And he's like, ah! That's an eyeball. Oh, I fucking hate that. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Kill it. Whoa. That's a big knife. At least they don't, like, follow you upstairs. Yeah. Oh. Gotta go downstairs. Party woman. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. You haven't, like, completely died yet. No, I have. No, I mean... Oh, like, game. Uh, like, game over. Game over. Oh, chicken! Chicken! chicken. Torch. That's an eyeball. Ew. Eyeball. Eyeball. It's a good version of the song, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're at the boss. At the same last night? Yep. Oh, he is weird looking. Yeah. I don't think the original game could have done this, but it did have something similar. It's like it's, he has a head too, like his head moves, it, it's, they're like a bunch of 2D shapes that can move in 3D, it's weird as fuck. Yeah, it's like a mode 7 kind of thing almost. Yeah, that was weird. I got my life back I lost. That's good, that was fun. That was a weird, weird fuck. We beat the stained glass knight. So... Uh, what the fuck is that? I don't think, like it. I think it's Titan? Maybe. Basement melody. Oh, it's basement. something in the lobby about Zelda stuff. Man, I'm did so... You see, did, you, did you see the new trailer they posted today? I did. I'm so excited. And it looks cool. Um, because I feel like we're gonna have, like, proper Zelda dungeons for a little bit, you know? Yeah. Um, even though it's... The 2D games aren't exactly my favorite cup of tea, but it's still good. It's a good cup of tea. You know? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll still drink it. Um, but I am, I am looking forward to, like, a proper summer. Um, what Sheep was saying in lobby is that, uh, the, the Nintendo has, like, a new, like, Zelda timeline stuff now. Oh? And apparently, uh, Breath of the Wild and TOTK are not even connected to uh, the Zelda titles. They are, like, in their own thing. That honestly kind of makes sense. It, it, like, it, he described it as they are in the time break. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Uh, I hate the way the mummies look in this game. Oh, yeah. In a good way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they are 
weirdly animated. I, so, like, this is, like, was this game, like, built from the ground up in this revisited version? Yes. I am actually curious how they animate this game in this year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what engine do they use, you know? Because this, this game doesn't look like Unreal Engine. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine can still make 2D games. It's just, it's just, I am curious as to how they made it this game. Because, I mean, it really does look like something you would play in the 90s, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, this looks like it would be right at home on, say, like, either a PlayStation or a very late Super Nintendo game. I don't think this could have been on Super Nintendo. I think it's a little bit too good looking for it. Yeah, this might be more PlayStation 1. Yeah. The the animations on certain some of them are way too smooth for Oh it's the cone pillar! My favorite. Did we get to see the bone dragon? Well we killed like a couple. Of well, it wasn't really a bone dragon. If anyone here, if anyone's watching this or the, the video on YouTube and hasn't watched the Brian David Gilbert video on Kessler, yeah, right? Really fun. Who is the sexist? Where's Camilla? Is Camilla that her name? Yeah. That weird, like, mask thing. Yep. Does she appear. What, what games does she appear in? Because I have never actually seen her. So. Anything. She shows up. Uh, she shows up mostly in, uh, Castlevania, uh, Bloodlines, the one on the Genesis. Uh, uh -huh. she's also in Castlevania 2, Simon's Curse. Uh, and, uh, I, th yeah, she's also in, uh, Castlevania, the new, uh, well, the new series. Uh, Lords sure of Shadow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's an army. Oh, that's, that's... What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god! How the fuck did they do this back in the day? Thing is. It, it's oh you know what I think it's a golem. I mean I would say yes. Uh, he's like an earth element. It's a normal fucking. How would you reach his head? Oh maybe you can step on his hand. I think so. Yeah, I was like, how would you reach said if you didn't have the axe? Oh, man. Ah, uh, you're gonna win. There we go. Ah, Ugh. That's a weird looking... Is that a locker or a door? It's a probably, big ass door. Probably a big ass door. <laughs> yeah. It's a terrifying looking door. It's one of those doors you see in like Silent Hill. The stream has only been going on for 34 minutes and we're almost done. Well, we could play more Castlevania. Yeah, I could I could show off the original haunted castle. You see what that fucking looks like. <laughs> see how badly I I mean this bomb on This that. isn't our this is an arcade game, so it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me that it's short. Oh, yeah. These games are meant to be hard, not long. Heh. <laughs> Sorry. Always has to be an elevator level in, uh, 
any arcade games. Arcade games. Well, there's always an elevator. Whipping while you're leaning down like that should not be with a bird. <laughs> like, in physically. It oh, not yeah. Be with a bird. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a whip you should try out in Elden Ring sometime. Uh, oh. That's a sword whip. Really? Yeah. It has a unique R2 move that if you hold it, it like, if you, you whip it out once and then you like, make it go forward and stab a bitch. <laughs> Ooh. It's really cool. Yeah, you get it in uh, Ryan's Mansion. The, the Carrion Castle. Oh. I like it. I like it to get the... So we're at the boss. I might die here. This... Are we about to fight fucking Frankenstein? Yes, we are. Where's the bug man? Where's Mr. Freeman? Like, I do not know how to fucking, like, dodge that attack. Can you get on the table? I wonder if that's what you do. Try it when- try to get on the table as soon as you get on here. Because if you can't, then it's impossible. No. Try, try the bookcase. It, it's a fucking arcade game. What do you expect? Oh no! It that's impossible to dodge. All of that is impossible to dodge. Oh! You hit the skeleton. Oh! You hit the skeleton. Oh, hey, him again. Damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, so that is how you do it. Ah. Oh. He, he whipped you. Back. He chained with you. Well, now you know how to do it, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> I like the, the skeletons. <laughs> And here we are thinking that it would actually be like um, stupidly difficult. <laughs> but no, there is actually a way to beat this without getting hit. Ah! 
I do like this version of him, though. He can't... I, I like the idea of this boss fight. Man, you killed me again! Curse <laughs> you, Simon! We're in the- oh, okay, wow, we this are- This is okay. it. Wow, fuck. I didn't Dude, think we would be that quickly. This is actually where Heart of Fire originally came from, I think. Ooh. I'm curious if they're gonna have like a boss theme music for Dress Dracula. They will. Because like I I because I think the Dance of Illusions was something that was originally in Symphony of the Night, right? Yes. Oh fuck. Oh well. Oh oh. So that's, actually, yeah, you get thrown back to a certain area and you just take massive damage instead of instantly dying, which is surprising. I know, right? Did this level has time? I didn't know this this game was timed. Yes. All the original classic Mania games are actually timed. I didn't know that. Was time was four timed? I don't. I should play it four was. sometime. Four was timed, yeah. but it, it's like it's like it's got the same timer as say like Super Mario. It gives you plenty of. Uh, time. Okay, okay. Oh. Is that our girlfriend? Yes. Hello? And... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I stole your girlfriend. Now I steal your heart. But literally. You were expecting fireballs? No, sword, bitch. This is the first time I've seen him not use fireballs, but you standing way too close. To I him. was, I was being, I was being. Ugh. Did he have voice acting or voice acting in the original? Did he laugh? I think so. Oh, 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 oh. It's like they slowed down Kefka's laugh and made it deeper. <laughs> Why is my head my only weakness? Oh, this is easy. Yay, we win! Oh! I live to see another day. Oh my god! What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> Was this in the original? Day? No way! Oh, this is fucked. This is like a Hollow Knight boss. God. Not a Hollow Knight boss. What's a good comparison that is in that game? Um. Bloodstain. Oh. Oh, Bloodstain. Well, I mean, Bloodstain's Castlevania, though. This is a blasphemous boss. Don't get cocky. I can 
never get the timing right. Uh, at least... There you go. At least the heads only do one thing. As for me, he mad, only one of you. Oh, always those bad men. And I just did, did we... a one credit completion of this game. Oh wow, we we win. I mean, that was a cool boss, but I really thought he would have like a third phase. Wow. I found you killing him really hot. <laughs> and that's it. Sinking castles may be ready for a child. <laughs> of the oh wow. Wow. Oh, that that's cool. That's cool. Wow. Mm. Just, that's it. Well, that was. Um, I like how they call themselves digital entertainment now. <laughs> They've always called themselves that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Cool game and all, but Konami, I'm still pissed at you. Okay. This is the original haunted castle. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god. You can rewind the game, Moogs. You can? Yeah. Of a ZL or ZR, I, I saw. Oh my god, this is old. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, epilepsy warning, I'm just gonna say that now, probably. <laughs> yeah. Cause th these games are old as- Oh! <laughs> okay. Wow. And here I thought- I thought arcade games back in the day was supposed to be better than the home console <laughs> Uh, they, they kinda are. Oh, the music's hilarious. <laughs> Why does he walk in like he needs to take a shit? Yeah. <laughs> also, that whip is hilarious. Why, Bricks? What is with? Why are we fighting the fucking thing from Mega Man? Oh, what? Wait, the this was. This wasn't in. This was not in the the remaster version. I'm pretty sure. Why do you think I said it was balanced to be a console game? <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Why? Yeah. What happens if you fall into the grass? You uh -oh. die. <laughs> I see. Oh no, this game is stupid. <laughs> Wow! Okay, so did they make it so you are you're able to continue in this version? I think so. Because I think okay. it. I think it was set up. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I think is stupid. So I think it was set up where in the Japanese version, uh, you could continue, and in the American version. You would just pump the machine full of coins just to get a chance to play again from the very beginning. Yeah, that sounds like America. Yeah. Jesus. The music is giving me a headache. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, Capcom, you. Uh, Konami, even around this time, they've done such better music for their games than this shit. Uh, 
Other than this game, what were they making back in the day? They. Let's see. Other I mean, other than Castlevania, what are they doing back? I'm looking at. Uh, I know they were doing Gradius and Salamander. Oh, Gradius. And, uh... Fuck this game. We don't have to play this version. We can, like, play, like, either something else or the other Castlevania games that are on here. You know what? Yes, I, I want to in this game and never come back. Uh, uh, let's see, I've never played Dawn of Sorrow, so we could try that. 